Let's have some beer. What do you want down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We have got ourselves a can of Upside IPA by the Wellington Brewery. Oh yeah, we're doing a little bit of old school type stuff because my fridge has finally got some beer in it again. Yeah, if you like it, if you don't like it, I don't know, leave me a comment in the comments down below. I love, I love getting comments and I'll reply. I reply to like any comment that's not spam gets a reply. This just came out very recently and I still haven't found it here in North Bay. I actually managed to find this in Toronto. I went to a random dinner thing. I was invited by Mill Street Brewery and it was it was a lot of fun actually. Aside from little thing with my car mirror, but that's neither here nor there. Let's crack this open and let's see what we've got. Yeah, just whatever construction company was doing highway maintenance on 400 near Barry. I thought it was a good idea to randomly end a lane with no notice at all. Yeah, thanks. It cost me like a hundred bucks. This looks good. Let's get a picture. Has a very no. Hmm. This has got a really nice kind of juicy look to it. Oh yes, very very nice haze and very very nice citrusy tropical hoppy aromas. Oh, those are some of my favorite aromas in a beer. Them and, and, you know, you know the malty flavor. Unless you're new, then. Hello, welcome, stay a while, subscribe, tell your friends, type thing, and you'll learn. I like the malty too. Let's give this a shot. Yes. Yes, please. More of that. That's fantastic. Really kind of dry, almost like sucking the moisture out of my mouth, bitterness going on. But like not, not so much bitter in flavor as bitter in sensation, if that makes sense at all. But the juicy flavors are, are juicing. I'm getting juiced on. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's just like a hoppy, punchy explosion of just delicious citrusy flavors. Like the resiny kind of pineapple. It's like if you bit into a pineapple without peeling it first. Yeah, I've done that. It's surprisingly, it's not easy. It does, it's not, it's not good. The flavor's good, but the whole, the outside of the pineapple is not easy to eat. I may have been slightly intoxicated. It happens. Wellingtonbrewery.ca, right? Yes, it is. I didn't even maximize that shit. Good for me. Check him out. Guelph, right? 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 Right. Yeah. They're far away. It's like a good four hours and a bit for me to get there. But someday that will happen. Excuse me. Nothing but delicious, hoppy awesomeness in that flavor as well. Yeah, it was a tasty burp, that's what I said. Mmm. I am a fan. 6.8%. After this, I might not have another for a while. 
Inspired by juicy hop forward East Coast IPAs, this unfiltered India Pale Ale is exploding with grapefruit, peach, and tropical hop flavors. Upside uses Vermont ale yeast and has an in it has an in and has an intricately crafted malt profile which includes oats and flaked wheat, giving the beer a hazy appearance and rounded smooth mouthfeel. Bursting with fresh citrus flavors, this IPA is on the up and up. The ingredients are water, barley malt, wheat malt, oats, hops, brewer's yeast. And you have a best before date. <laughs> That's not cool. No. IPA, you want to know when it was made. Best before. That's... Like, this is... It's going into the beer store, LCBO, whatever. So this is just like your way of making sure it stays there longer. Kind of saddens me a little bit there. 58 IBUs. And your whole airship thing is kind of weird. It's very reminiscent of Steamworks out of BC. Excuse me. It's a really good beer, though. I, I almost wish I had another. You know what? If I can get another one that has the same best before date... I am going to save that until like a day before it says, and we'll see. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try that welly on. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can see a, like all of these delicious, hoppy, citrusy, bursting flavors having burst before you drink it. If you had it then. I believe that entire thought came out in a decent way. It might not have, but that's okay. Untapped rating for this beer. Oh, so I was looking some stupid other tab. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the ball. All over the ball. 3.76 out of 5, and we have 521 ratings. So like I said, fairly new, because it is, I believe, available all over the place now, and it, nobody has really had a lot of it. Slowly got better, but I would just say a good beer. I rate tougher when I see IPA in the name. Hop it up, guys. I think it's pretty hoppy. Okay, beer. Higher praise than it deserved. Not too grapefruity up front. Easy drinking, well balanced. Would buy again. Might try another at some point. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. A juicy. I like juice. I like juice as well. It's not as juicy as the juicin, or not super juicy, the notoriously juicy by Wildcard. That was remarkably juicy, but that wasn't an IPA, that was just a pale ale. That was just a PA. Yeah, it was it was just a public announcement beer. That's that's what it was. Oh, it just went by. This, I need to try as well. The Hell's Lager. I don't have super high hopes for it, because that style of lager... One of those ones that's really hit or miss for me. There it is. Oh, when I, damn it. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't matter. You just look, look there and you'll see it go by. That's what we're having right now. It's fun. Or something. Along those lines. Rate beer! Not enough ratings for a full score. Five of them to be exact. The taste is refreshing with peach. I'm not really getting a whole lot of peach flavor in it. Nice one. A, present su a pleasant surprise from Wellington. Great beer. Juicy but malt would be nice. No. You don't want malt in your West Coast IPA. <laughs> Sorry, that's East Coast. I don't even know that. Excuse me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Welcome to my channel. Where I say things. Yeah, good times. Good times indeed. I've had worse times. It's a really good beer. It really is. Even as it warms up a little bit, it's still 
it's it's really juicy. It's a nice juicy IPA. It's actually quite nice. Following the one that I had yesterday. I'm a fan. And again, 6.8%. Dangerously deceptive, we could call this beer. Yeah, I'd kick your ass after a few of them. Upside. Maybe that's maybe that's what they're going for. You know, after you have three or four of these, the Wellington boot is going to kick you upside your head. I just I just cracked the code. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now now the boot fits with the steamship kind of because you're way up there and ups. Not even really though. The boot should be kick the image should be the boot kicking someone upside the head. That would be fantastic. Although then maybe the LCBO and beer store wouldn't let you in because they're weird like that sometimes. I don't know. I feel like this is a rather rambly vlog. I've been recording for like 15 minutes, but there was a bit of decent fuckery that happened with the can recording and stuff. I'm hoping for under like 12. Final rating, beer advocate, not enough ratings. Awesome. 3.85 out of 5, 3.92 out of 5, 4.03 out of 5, 3.815 out of 5, 3.765. I could be an auctioneer. I could be the I could be the micro the micro micro machines. That's what they were called. I want to say micro machines. Micro machines. I don't know what I'm talking about. We have to finish this before I just leave this plane of existence. Drink number last. Wellington Brewery. Your upside IPA. I am giving that a nine and a half. I would have given that a ten because it's fucking amazing. But I hate your date. I hate that. Especially on an IPA. I do not want to know when you think it's best before buy. I want to know when it was put in the can. As do a lot of people from what I've what I've seen throughout my travels as it were and that's going to do it for today's daily drink vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos be sure to smash that subscribe button if you got some sitting put some comments in the box down below thanks again and i'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow a peace out holy crap yeah i could be the micro machines guy i don't even know how i did that i didn't screw i didn't even screw up all everything came out slow it down check it out i'm friggin impressed as hell with myself right now